Good afternoon, Sister Carol. God bless you. God bless you all. Good afternoon, each and everyone. Good morning. Good evening to those of you in Africa. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are connected, wherever you are joining this morning, this day. Blessings to you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please invite someone to join. <laughs> invite someone to join, please. Share. Invite someone to join. Hallelujah. Good morning, good evening, Bonsoir, Sister Blanche. I know it's evening in Cameroon. Good evening. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Bless the name of the Lord. Give him praise this afternoon, this evening, this morning. Celebrate our precious Jesus, Masuta Rabazusas, the King of Kings. Ah, because of him we are alive. Because of his mercy, his love, and his grace, we saw this beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Give him praise, give him glory, adore him. Worship him, magnify the King of Kings, magnify the Lord of Lords, Mazuka Rabazusas, Zakwaya Pazika Lakazusi Pekabazus. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you for your mercy upon our lives, for your grace, Mazoko Robo Shabadakalas, Epando Robo Zibrikabala. We adore you, Savior. We welcome your presence, Holy Spirit. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being a God, a guide, a leader, a helper, a intercessor. La cosa brinha citas. Mandele que bocha balabade. Mauro boshi brekala. We commit the prayer in your hands today. We commit the time we spend in the presence of the Lord in your hands today. La cosa breka zuma. Le caso to robo shabra kazus. E para kato robo shabra kalala. Masuto robo shabe kaba zekala gada, rako zabe kala kazusa, zepa raka zungare kada. Me sato raba hasikata. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Rako bahasata, masakata brasi brikala gada. We adore you, Lord. No one like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Please invite somebody to be blessed today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we want to pray and I want to pray against enemies that are trying to stop us from entering into God's rest. This is a month of divine rest. Hallelujah. Faith. Faith. Rest by the way of faith, right? So we talk about rest and we know that we've been talking about faith, how um, for us to come into the rest of the Lord. And that rest means, you know, getting that breakthrough, right? Coming, coming out of that problem that you've been through for so, you've been in for so long. That's rest, right? Entering into God's rest. It takes faith because when you want to, when you want to, 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 to uh, break through, when you want to fulfill your destiny, the, there's somebody always working against you, the adversary, Satan. He's always doing everything to make sure that you and I, we don't enter into that rest. That's why Jesus has told us to always pray, always. He said, man, us to, ought to pray always and not to faint. Not to faint means not to give up faith, to stand steadfast in the spirit, in the faith. Hallelujah. The Paul told us the other day in Ephesians chapter 6 that our greatest weapon of warfare is what? Is faith. He says, with faith will quench the very death of the wicked. Will quench his wicked devices, his wicked powers. Lakuba jigada, with faith. This is faith above all things. The faith, if you pray and you don't have faith, when, while you don't, there's no faith in your prayer, you won't get the result, productive result. You won't get positive result. Um, if you, you read the Bible and, uh, you know, and um, you don't have faith, you know, in, in, in God, you wouldn't get it. That's why Paul says it's faith that we, used to, we need to use to quench the wickedness of the enemy. Hallelujah. So it's a month of faith for rest. Hallelujah. Faith for rest. So rest by the way of faith. Hallelujah. And I want to start by encouraging you to not give up, <laughs> not surrender to the enemy. No matter your situation, no matter what you see right now, don't be moved by sight. Be moved by the word of God. Faith is what? Faith is the faith is believing in God. The word of God, holding the Lord to his word, whatever he has said, everything within you believe that the Lord will do. It doesn't matter how long it takes. We see in the scriptures from generations to generations, we see how God fulfilled the word that he gave to his children. He fulfilled the word always. But we saw also the resistance power of enemy satan resisted he fought he did everything to stop the children of israel but only those who believed in god enter into the rest we saw that in hebrews the other day that there are many that did not enter into the rest only those who believed in god the word of god was preached to every one of them everyone received the word the same the same word was given to to the israelites to everyone but only some of them entered into god's rest paul says why because of their unbelief they could not enter so when you when satan successfully kills your faith if he targets your faith and gets your faith get hold of your faith and you lose it and when he gets hold of it means you have lost it to him when you lose that faith then you will not you will never be blessed you will not you will never enter into that cross race so so today we want to pray and our prayers i'm going to talk to us uh, hallelujah we're going to look at uh, the title is the other side i want to talk to you about the other side as we pray amen i want you to remember and to know that there is the other side of every situation are you hearing me whatever you're going through right now whatever you're seeing right now that is not all about your life hallelujah you might have just been crying for many years over that situation maybe a financial situation maybe a marital situation you have might have been struggling all your life hallelujah but hear me there is an other side there is the other side of the other thing of you know like the cross of jesus the front of the cross there is a front and there is the back of the cross hallelujah hallelujah there is the front and there is the back God is a God of mercy and a God of judgment as well, right? God is not only mercy and long-suffering, but he's also the other side of God is judgment. So there is the other side 
of your situation. Hallelujah. So I want you to be edified this morning, this morning, this day today, be lifted up, be encouraged in the Lord that knowing, believing that there is another side of your situation. And that other side is what you, you and I are fighting to receive. That other side, you must see the enemy is preventing you with wars. The enemy is preventing you with barriers, uh, massacres, with limitations. Uh, the enemy is using devices and schemes and strategies uh, to stop you from seeing the other side because he knows that once you see the other side, my God, uh, you will you will be encouraged in the Lord. But I know, uh, but I want to pray for you today that you will see the other side, and not only will you see, you will enter into it. Uh, your life will not end like Moses there was the other side of of the glory the other side was the promised land where the Lord had promised the Israelites. He promised Abraham from the beginning that your seed will be in captivity for a certain period of time, 430 years, but 400 years, but I will bring them out and I will give them this land, the other side. And we saw how the Satan resisted. There was delay and in the wilderness, the Satan was fighting them, discouraging the heart of people. And those that were discouraged, they began to complain a moment and they lost. They could not enter. We see even Moses himself because of anger issues. Hallelujah. He believed in God, but there was something that is called anger that was rooted in his nature, rooted in his bloodline that stopped him from seeing the other side, from entering the other side. He saw it. He saw it. A day came where he, God says, come and see on this Mount Pisgah. You can see. And he saw, he saw the beauty of the land. He saw it. He, he saw it. God made him to see that he's a faithful God, that I I am not a man that I should lie, neither am I a son of man that I should repent. Whatever I say to, to my children, I will do it. Moses, before you come home, I want you to see that there's the other side, that I'm a faithful God. He saw it. He saw the other side, but he couldn't enter. I pray for you this morning, this afternoon. You will not only see, but you will enter. Any power that wants you to see and not enter, that power is here by arrested today in the name of Jesus. And any powers also that don't want even want you to see the other side. Hear me, I pray for you. Your eyes be open today to see the other side. Let your spiritual understanding be enlightened to see the other side. I pray for you. Let that discouragement lose its grip of your life. Let your eyes be open to see that God is faithful to his word, that his word is yea and amen, that he never fails, he never lies. Hallelujah. Let God show to you that he is faithful to bring you to the other side. I declare over your life, Mazika Bukaja, enter into that God rest. You are coming into that God rest. No power will stop you. And today we're going to deal with those powers that stop us from coming on the other side. And that power is called a storm because God spoke to me. There are people going through storms. And hear me, storms always rise up uh, when you are about to enter onto the other side. Uh, storms will always come. When I say storms, I mean battles. Uh, your battles are intensified. Uh, there is one person listening to me. Your battles have been intensified. From the day you receive your prophecy, you have been hoping, you have been waiting, and the moment is approaching. Instead, your battles have been intensified. Uh, you know, and, and now you are beginning to think, oh my God, uh, God is never going to show up. Uh, your battles have become worse because you're about to enter on the other side. When anyone runs a race and you're about to finish the race, the end of the race is always the most difficult time because you have exalted energy, because you are depleted in energy. You are you are, you have you have labored so hard and you're weary. And Satan preys on anyone who is weary. He knows when you are vulnerable. You're in your most vulnerable time right now. And he knows that you are vulnerable. So now he's beginning to hit you on your faith that you will not see the other side side. But I pray for you, you will not give up. This prayer will change that situation. This prayer that I've come to make with you today, I declare you will not give up. You will remain steadfast in the faith. You will finish this race well. You will enter. You will enter into that God's race in the name of Jesus. When Moses went to Egypt and told Pharaoh, God said, let my people go. Pharaoh made their, their work harder. The Bible says he assigned task masters against the Israelites. The Israelites had been used to their bondage. They had been used to their suffering. And instead, when Moses came and said, now it's time to go, the Bible tells us that their situation went worse. It got worse. Why? Because Moses came and told Pharaoh, it's time for them to go. That is what Satan does. That is 
what he, he 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 brings in in your life and in my life when god wants to bring you out when god wants to bring you into his rest when god wants to wants to fulfill the prophecy that he had given you for many years satan will begin to make situation worse in your life to make it look like god is not capable god is not able but the god that demonstrated his power and his strong arm upon the life of pharaoh and the egyptian that god is still the same yesterday today and forever he will demonstrate his power in your life once again he will show you that he is god pharaoh resisted nine times the israelite cried more but the bible says god heard their cry the bible says god fulfilled his purpose his, his promise upon their lives and my god will not lie to you my god will never change his word over your life my god will perform that which he has spoken concerning your life in the name of jesus Go with me to the book of Mark chapter 4 verse 35 to 37. Mark chapter 4 verse 35 to 37. The Bible says Jesus gave a, Jesus gave a story. Jesus uh, um, said something in that, in that, uh, Jesus was doing something with his disciples um, in that verse. Um, Mark chapter 4 verse 35 to 37. Jesus said to his disciples, the Bible says, Jesus said to his disciples, um, it says, let us go on the other side. Jesus had dwelt on this side with the disciples for so long. Jesus had been on this side for so long. Are you hearing me? And Jesus said unto them, he said, let us pass on the other side. It's time to go over on the other side. And why? So that people can be blessed. So that the disciples can also be enlarged. So that they can also be acknowledged. They can also step into their next destination. Are you hearing me? It was a time for change for the disciples us as well. So that's why Jesus let us go on the other side. But the Bible tells us, verse 37, And there arose a great storm. While they were on the journey in the ship to go on the other side, Lacazus, the Bible says in verse 37 of Mark chapter for there arose a great storm you hear that the storm of wind they arose why because they're about to go on the other side that is that's why i said to you there are storms that have hit your life right now and because the enemy knows uh, that you're about to get on the other side of breakthrough you're about to get on the other side of testimony am i talking to somebody so don't you let them let that storm discourage you sister patience don't you let, there let any storm that has hit your life, Peleji, Gamani, to stop you, Anita. Don't you let anything that is coming your way right now, Fifi. Don't you dare let anything to discourage you. The storms are there. They are a sign that you are about to break through. I'm talking to you. Patience. The storms are a sign that you are about to break through. Every time you see battles intensify, you see problems arise like never before. Your walls are come crumbling upon you. Know that God is up to something. Thing. Are you hearing me? It's an indication that God is up to something. God is about to give you that breakthrough. God is about to bring you into that race. But you must remain steadfast in the faith. You cannot give up. There arose a great storm of wind against Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But the Bible says uh, Jesus rose up and he rebuked that wind. And hear this. Somebody may say, Pastor Pepsi. Oh, but that was Jesus. Uh, hey. That was Jesus. Uh, but hear me, the Bible says, uh, as the priest is, so are the people. The Bible says, uh, we are not dealing with a God who is not touched with our infirmity. Whatever we are going through, he has been through. Are you hearing me? Jesus went through everything. You know why? So that we, shall, we should know uh, that is that is it is possible to go through it and still come out and enter into his rest. Are you hearing me? Jesus came uh, to this world. God came to this world in flesh to live as man. He was 100% God and 100% man to live as man are you hearing me to feel our infirmity to understand what man experienced he understood he tested it he knows the problem of this life but if he didn't come and be, be, become flesh he would not understand he will not he will not know somebody may say but you are god you've never been flesh so you will not know what flesh feels he became flesh to feel what we feel to know what we know and also to show us that it's possible to overcome jesus overcame as flesh as man on this head he overcame and so you are a son of god are you, are you hearing me to them that believe they are the sons of God. You are a son of God. You are not a son of your mother or your father. Like I recorded a message for you guys two days ago and God was speaking to you that you are a son of God because you have believed in him. You are not a son of your mother. You are not a son of your father. You are a son of God. Whether you are a female, you are a son of God. Are you hearing me? And so because you are a son of God, you are a heir of God according to Romans chapter 8. And join heirs with Christ from verse 16 down. Join heirs with Christ. And so if you 
uh, join hands with Christ, um, you will suffer. And when you suffer, after a little while, you shall be established um, for the glory of, to, of, 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 of your life. The glory of today cannot be compared to the problems that you are facing. Are you hearing me? Whatever you are facing today can never be measurable to the glory that God is about to reveal in your life. Are you hearing me? So have faith in God. Jesus overcame the storm with his disciples. Did they not get on the other side? They got there. So I pray for you this morning, this afternoon. You will get on the other side. Declare to yourself, say, my father, my father, I will get on the other side. I will get on the other side. Regardless of the storms of wind that have risen up against my life, Lord, I declare this day today, my faith cannot waver. I'm I must get on the other side. Pray that prayer of declaration. Rapo Jakala, declare over your life. You storm, you cannot stop me. I must get on the other side. I must get there. I must enter into the rest of God. I will remain steadfast in faith. I believe in the word of God. I trust in the word of God. Satan, you are a liar. The Bible says, let man be a liar. Let God be truth. God, the Bible says, he's the way and the truth and the life. His word is truth. It's yea and amen. Declare over your life. Lako Jabada. I believe in the word of God. Mazaka to Zikada. Jesus already fulfilled the, the, the our destinies. He already finished the work on Calvary. So I believe in the word of God. Whatever he said, he did it. And those that he has not yet done, he will do. Hey, somebody declare over your life. Declare masikatos. Declare. Declare over your life. Let the storm hear your voice today. Let the storm hear your voice. Let the storm hear your voice. Let the enemies that bring the storm, let them hear your voice. The Bible says there was a great storm of wind. But Jesus understood that the storm was not the problem. There was a wind that brought this the wave was not the problem the wave began to bring water into the, into the into the into the boat into the ship where they were inside um, you hear me many a times um you see the waves it, is bringing problems um, you see the waves is shaking your life you see the waves um it's about to destroy you the problem is not the wave it is a storm of wind there is somebody behind there is something behind that is trying to break down your faith um, and you hear me the apostles were afraid um, when this occurrence um, when this thing occurred uh, and they went to Jesus who was relaxed and sleeping in the boat they said master don't you care for us and many of you that's what you're asking God in your time like this where you're going through the storms uh, you cry out to the Lord you say Lord don't you care about me Lord don't you see me Lord don't you hear my voice uh, oh God is watching you God sees what you're going through God hears the cry of your heart oh he has not left you he said I will not leave you nor forsake you he has not abandoned you he will never abandon you that situation jesus was sleeping while the storm was hitting the the boat are you hearing me and all he expected was the, the children the, the apostles to have faith that's why when he arose he asked them so where is your faith oh you people of little faith where is your faith he was relaxed. Water was entering. He was relaxed because he knew nothing would stop them. Nothing would stop the work of God. They must get on the other side. I prophesy over your life. No matter your cry, you may be thinking God is not hearing you. Jehovah is hearing your voice. The Lord may be quiet right now. It looks like Jesus is sleeping in that boat of your life, but he's watching what is happening to you. He's not moved by what you're going through because he knows the end of that situation. He's not moved by what you're you going through right now. What you're passing through. Are you hearing me jesus is not moved by that sickness and disease in your life he's not moved by the problem of your children he's not moved by the job situation the barrenness situation he's not moved because his word must surely come to pass he knows his word will come to pass in due time there shall be no delay and there shall be no loss of your life are you hearing me so may you remain steadfast in the faith declare the lord i receive the grace to be steadfast in the faith Opiama declare a declaration. It's all about your faith. Without faith, you will not please God. And when you don't please God, you cannot enter into his rest. Without faith, without faith, you remain in the wilderness. Without faith, you will die in the wilderness, like our fathers died in the wilderness. But that will never be your portion because you are here listening to me. Because you are always listening to the voice of the Lord. You are listening to the word of God. I declare over your life, your faith will never be destroyed. That power of darkness cannot destroy your faith. Lakubazikata. Declare over your life, Lord, I receive grace grace today to remain steadfast in the faith declare it one more time declare it over your life in the name of jesus look at apostle paul in Acts chapter 27 let's look at apostle paul in the book of Acts chapter 27 apostle paul also experienced the same situation right apostle paul was about to get on the other side 
And that was his final destination. That was the rest. It was in Rome that he ended that he died. He had fulfilled his ministry. He had fought a good fight. He finished his course. He was about to finish his course. In Acts chapter 23, verse 11, God had told him that Paul, you have it says, it says, Paul, it says, you have testified of me in Jerusalem. You must also testify of me in Rome. Despite all the storms that hit his life, right? Problems left and right. The Jews were fasting and praying to kill him. That's how the devil is wicked. There are people fasting every day for you to die. Are you hearing me? That is how Satan's kingdom is. They fast. The enemies fast. The enemies even going to fast. I've told you that before. There are people that will even fast, dry fast, no food for 10 days, 7 days until you are dead. But you will never die because you are a child of God. You are a son of God. They were fasting. They said we have banded ourselves on an oath that we will not eat nothing or drink anything until Paul is dead. <laughs> but Jesus told Paul, he said, Paul, don't you dare worry. Masikata, you have testified of me in this Jerusalem. You must also testify of me in Rome. <laughs> you must get to Rome despite the storms of life. And, and eventually, when Paul got on the ship in Acts chapter 27, we're going to continue from there. Eventually, Paul got on the ship. The Bible says, verse 1, verse 2, and entering into a ship. So they entered into a ship and hear what happened. <laughs> Entry into the ship, verse 13 says, uh, verse 13 says, uh, when the south wind blew softly, supposing that they had obtained their purpose, losing thence, they sailed close by Crete. Verse 14 says, but not long after the after there arose against it a tempestuous wind called Euroclidon. Are you hearing me? And when the ship was caught. And could not bear up into the wind. We let her drive. <laughs> you see, Jesus said, let's go on the other side. As soon as they get in the boat, eh, the storm hits, you will not. Paul, Jesus said, you are going to Rome. <laughs> he gets on the ship. A storm hits. And not a, not even a simple storm. A tempestuous wind brought a serious Euroclidium storm. A Euroclidon wind came and was shaking that ship. The devil, remember people were fasting. <laughs> that this man was that he will never get on the other side. He will not enter into that final destination. Mazikarabala. But hear what it says here. Not long after that, the wind rose up. And this wind was so violent that it says what? And the, and, and the ship was caught. We're going to pray. This is what God spoke to me. Your ship, ship is an when, when you your ship is um your your vision, your ministry. When I talk about ship, ship is ship is is is, is your vision, your ministry. It's like for you, your your vision may be a nurse, you, or your vision may be that marriage. I don't know your vision or that ministry that God has put in you, that destiny, that vision He has given you. That's the ship. That's what it means here. Ship. <laughs> the enemy caught the ship. The wind came. You see, the he said, not long after they got on the ship, Masikata, it came and it did what? It caught. It caught the ship. The ship was caught. God says to me, the storm has caught somebody's vision. You will pray this afternoon or this morning, whatever time it is where you are. You will pray and you will command that evil hand whatever they have used to catch capture to cut ca to catch me somebody has gotten control of your life hear what it says here it says it caught it and the ship could not could not bear bear the wind the ship now is on is unable to 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 control itself so it could not bear up the wind and so they let it drive three prayer points in the scripture we we'll pray Whoever has taken control, who no, whoever has or any evil hand or powers that have caught my vision, have caught my vision and is stopping me from getting to God's rest or to the other side. My father, my father, as I pray today, let the fire of God consume the hand, consume they caught it. You know, you see, sometimes you see you're moving in life, you can't move anymore. You're lost. You just stand. Something is holding you. You can't move. In the realms of the spirit, something has happened. There's an evil hand. There's an evil chain. There's an evil rope that they have used and caught. There is an evil wall. They have surrounded your vision. 
so that you cannot move forward you want to move forward there's no way are you hearing there is an evil power that has surrounded has caught your vision that this vision cannot move forward but this is a moment of rest that vision of yours whatever god has planted on the inside of you god says you must enter into his rest so therefore satanic powers evil hands wicked wicked forces a spiritual wickedness human wickedness wicked angels by the power of the blood of jesus they are going to come under the judgment of god they are going to release your your vision they are going to release your life they are going to release your destiny open your mouth and pray with me say my father my father Say in the name of Jesus, pray with so much violence in you, be violent in the spirit. For Jesus said, a king of God suffer a violence, but the violence take it by force. The violence take it. You have suffered violence. Somebody is somebody is, is destroying your life. Some powers are fighting your life. You must take it by force. Take it violently. Destroy the evil hands that has caught your life. Say in the name of Jesus, my father, my father. Every evil powers, every evil hand, evil chains, evil ropes, evil weapons that have been formed against my life and they are holding down my vision in captivity. Oh God, my father, as I clap my hand and pray, let them catch fire. Now, turn that to prayer. Mazakabalas. Pray somebody. Zakwata pray kasikata. Let them catch fire. Listen, let them catch fire. Pray. It says, when the sheep was caught, the wind rose up. Pray for yourself. The sheep was caught. And the sheep was caught. <laughs> the wind. How can the wind catch a sheep? It's a demonic power, demonic forces. There are invisible people. There are invisible things, spirits. They have caught your sheep. They have caught that vision. Whoever has caught my, my sheep, whoever has caught my children's sheep, whoever has caught the sheep of my husband, whoever has caught the sheep of Peter, whoever has caught the sheep of my siblings, uh, today my father, Lakadagadoza, Ipayada, somebody are you praying? Mazikada, pray as you are praying. There's power as you are praying. Your angels are being enforced as you are praying. You are giving your angels power to overcome that power for you as you are praying. Those chains are breaking down. Those evil hands are being caught on fire as you are praying. Things are breaking loose in the spirit. Your prayer is the weapon of warfare. Your prayer is the weapon of warfare. You may not be seeing what is happening physically, but in the realms of the spirit, there's an evil power evil hands uh, that have caught your sheep uh, they have held it down that you cannot enter into that promised land that you will not see the other side of life uh, all you have experienced in life is cry and tears and sorrow uh, but god wants you to see the other side uh, the other side which is the promised land the other side which is glory uh, the other side which is rest uh, which is blessings uh, but there are power that don't want you to see him are you praying pray somebody uh, zakwaya gadoza man did it Kidding. Mande de gede, mande de gede, rapo zigadasa, la cota riba zigala, ya cosa brica yagados, e caso brica yagados, ya conda rica zuga lagadosa, e payacosa brica lagadosa, ya cosa lacado, la cadagada. Clap your hands and pray, clap your hands and pray, let them crash fire, la cada brica bala, every evil hand, evil power that have caught my ministry, that have caught my ship. I have called my sons and daughters ship. Lakada breka lagada. Yakazaka lagada. Ekalagazuka brekada. Rakota di brekada. Rakota di brekada. Mazuna lagada. By the power of the blood. By the fire of God. By the thunder of God. Lakota ricado. Epayagado. Rakota brekado. Pray somebody. Rakota breka badoza. Zakwayagado. Lakosa brekado. Every evil hand that has called your sheep, Eugene Derry, let them crash fire, evil hands, evil powers upon your sheep, upon your children's life, power fire of the Holy Ghost, Zakwadagade. Evil powers, Lakota uh, Brikabada, Pelagis, uh, that have caught your life, uh, that have caught your destiny, we set them on fire. Zakadagadagada, you must get on the other side. You must get on the other side. You must get on the other side. You must enter into the rest of God. There is beauty and glory on the other side. In the name of Jesus.
You must get on the other side. Huh? Are you tired of being on this side? Jesus said, let's go on the other side. Are you, you have to fulfill your destiny. You have to. But you must, it's a, life is a battle. You must warfare. And your warfare, your warfare is faith. A warfare of faith. Are you hearing me? You must see the other side and enter into it and enjoy it. Life is not like this. Life is not only about suffering, suffering, suffering. The Bible says in First Peter, it says, after you have suffered a little bit, you have suffered for a little while, then you shall be established. Right? God doesn't want you to suffer. The, the, you know, when he says, after you have suffered for a little while, and then you shall be established, it doesn't mean that God, God caused you to suffer. No, 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 no. It doesn't mean that God, God makes you to suffer. What it means is that there are powers that want you to suffer. But the Bible says you will be established. So your suffering is not the end of that situation. The end of it is rest in God's kingdom. Rest under God's bosom. Rest the other side to enjoy the fruit of the land. To enjoy it. You cannot suffer, suffer, suffer all your life. Every day is the same problem, the same problem, the same problem. You must warfare. And I declare over someone's life, this is your last battle you are fighting. The last battle. This was the last battle. The last battle you, the, the, the apostle fought to get on the other side. <laughs> this is the last battle you are fighting to get on the other side. You must get on the other side, the next level. You have been stagnant for so long. You must get to the next level, the next dimension, the next destination of your marriage life, of your financial life, of the of your, your, your the, the life, the, the the situation with your with your children. You must, you must. No power can stop you. Jesus said, "Where is your faith? Have faith in God." No power can stop you. Speak the word of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says in that very verse, like the next prayer prayer point. Now it says, "When the ship was caught." And hear this, it said, and could not bear up into the wind. We now, you see that? We let her drive. Okay, so now, <coughs> excuse me, this power took control of the life of the of their lives. Not only did he catch it, see Satan, this is what he does. When he comes, he catches you. And if he can and if he catches, you know how he catches you? He catches your faith. If Satan takes possession of your faith, eh? If he if he he comes and he begins to bring the storms, you know, and you see you every time you hear the word of God, your situation gets worse. <laughs> like I told you, the Egyptians, the Israelites in Egypt, they heard the word of God. Don't say the Lord, let my people go. The situation went worse. Don't say the Lord. Until nine times, it got only worse and worse. He brings the storm. You hear Pastor Pepsi tells you this. The next day you wake up, problems. Ah, huh? you wake up, your son begins to act out. You wake up, your husband is doing terrible things. Your wife, you wake up, your job. They say, ah, they cut your salary or you've lost your job. You wake up, a sickness condition. You hear that storms, but you're hearing the word of God. God is saying, do you remember Elijah? Elijah said to the servants, he says, I hear an abundance of rain. Go and look. The servants went and looked, came back and said, sir, there's nothing. He knew that there was an other side. There was blessings coming. He says, I hear it, I know it. But there was a force in the water that was holding the rain from falling. <laughs> Seven times the man of God was didn't give up. That's how you must do. I'm telling you, you are on your way to rest. You cannot give up. No matter the storm, you must resist the devil and he will flee. What happened here was that he caught the ship. And when he caught the ship, then they let it go, which means they gave up. They let the ship just, so they let the ship just drive itself. No man was controlling the ship anymore. When you let the devil take control of your faith, guess what? He controls your life. <laughs> That's all he's looking for. He's looking back at your faith. When he catches it, he drives your life. <laughs> he drives you his direction. Because in this chapter, when they let it drive, now Satan was driving the ship to where he wanted the ship. It got to a point where they said they didn't even know where they were. The ship was just going. They did not even know at some point where they were. When you let Satan take control of your faith, sometimes in life you'll be so lost. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know what which way to turn. I don't understand my life the way it looks. I don't even, where, where is God? Because you have let him take control of your faith. 
He's been driving your faith. He's driving your life to his own direction. He's driving your vision opposite to from where God wants you to go. But child, God, child of God, God has sent me today to help you and I to pray to regain control of your faith. You will pray and regain control of your faith. You will regain control. Don't let Satan drive you. Open your mouth and regain control. Regain control. Take it back. Take whatever control you have given to him. Any door you have opened and you have given him that control, take it back from him now. Open your mouth and pray. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Recover it. He says, I will restore the years that the canker worm, the papa, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, the millipedes have eaten. Come on. Ask the Lord right now. Let the Lord cause Satan to restore what he has taken from, taken from you. Restore your faith. Say, my father, my father. Say, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God. I pray. Let the enemy restore my stolen faith. I regain control of my faith. I regain control of my relationship with God. I regain control of my faith with God. I regain control of my faith in your word. I regain control of my relationship with you. I regain control of my Christian belief. I regain control of my destiny, my life, my children's life, my husband's, my wife's life, my siblings' life. I regain control. Open your mouth. Pray. Whatever you have lost control, you know yourself. Regain control. Many of you have lost faith because of the storms. Regain control. Regain it. Raposha. Ipayakadoza. Pray. Regain control. Don't let it drive. Don't let the Satan drive your life. Don't let Satan control your life. Don't let him take you where he wants to take you to. Zapata di Kazukada. Lakota Brikada. Pray, pray, pray. Masika to Rabada. Yakoja Brikazukada. Mazeka do brigaduza, zapanda ligaboda, regain control, regain control, repossess your faith, repossess your spiritual work with God from his hands, repossess, take what he has taken from your sons and daughters, take your, 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 your children, your faith, your, your, your family members faith also, take it, zakola bazigata, regain control, mazaka do brigadoza, zakoya bazigada, don't let him drive your life, regain control, be the captain of your own life again. Be the pilot of that plane. Be the, ca the captain of that ship. Regain control. Repossess the steering of that car. Repossess it. Sit back on that driver's seat. Don't let him drive. Who is this sitting on your chair? Who is this sitting and driving your life? Who is this sitting and driving your car? Tell them to, begin to, 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 lose, to lose. To lose it. To lose it. To give up. To give way. Tell them to move. Tell them to go. Take back control. Zapata Lika Bada Mando Doko Do Yankwandagado in the name of Jesus. Mashikada, yes, I hear the Lord is saying there are many of you listening to me. Somebody else is driving your life because you lost faith. But today you are recovering your life. <laughs> you lost faith over storms of life. And somebody took control and has been driving your life. And because he's been driving your life, that's why even your children are going through problems. That's why nothing has been really working. Because somebody else has been in control. But the Lord says, I'm going to be, be the leader of your life. Do you know when Israel was in Egypt for 430 years? <laughs> Israel themselves, they were the ones that caused delay. Because they did not understand when the time of their coming out came. They did not understand prophecy. That it was supposed to be 400 years. Moses came to begin to intervene for them. To begin to vindicate them of their adversaries. Huh? They chased him out of the land. And, and you know why? When they chased him, what, did, what happened to them? For 40 years, Moses was gone. They suffered. They suffered more than ever before. Pharaoh was the one that was leading them. Pharaoh and his juju powers, his witchcraft. He, you think Pharaoh was just ruling and controlling these people with just power and authority? No. That's why God was dealing with the gods of the land when he sent Moses, because it was the powers of the land. All those gods, they were, they were the ones that were fighting and keeping them in, in, in bondage. But God said, it is time for me to be the leader of your life. God said to Moses, tell them, it is time for me to regain control of your life, to be the captain of your life, to be the, the, the driver of this car. God said to tell somebody under the sound of my voice, it is time for God to take control over your life. That power that has been driving your life, that power is, come, is coming down today in the name of Jesus. The Lord is coming back. It is time for you to enter into the rest of the Lord. The Lord is taking, is, is 
coming back into your life uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so I pray for you right now. Whoever has been in control of your life, uh, let them give way. Uh, open your head, oh ye gate. Uh, let the king of glory come in. <laughs> oh ya pataka pata. Open your head. Oh, lift up your head, oh ye gate. Uh, lift up your head. <laughs> let the king of glory come in. Uh, every resistant forces, uh, resistant powers, uh, gate, invisible gate. Uh, that have that are men uh, and women that have head. Uh, let them lift up their head. For the king of glory is in need of you. The king of glory come, is coming in. The king of glory needs you. Uh, he needs to fulfill your destiny. Uh, it is time for you to enter into his rest. Uh, oh, Jesus said the other day uh, to his disciples. Uh, Go into a village uh, and you will see a cord that has been tied and an ass uh, that no man has sat on. He says, lose. Uh, and a man will ask you, why do you lose? Uh, tell them the key, the Lord is in need of it. Uh, today, God is sent to someone. He's in need of your life. Uh, he's in need of your destiny to be fulfilled. Uh, and so that village uncle, that village auntie, uh, that power of darkness, uh, those occultic men, uh, those are people in authority, people with figure, authority position uh, in your family uh, that have been... Uh, Watching you in in in, in the rope, uh, watching you tied down, uh, that no man will lose you, that no man will fulfill your destiny, no man will help you. I come with the volume of this book, uh, the word of God. Uh, I declare, uh, let them lose uh, their grip of your life. Uh, the King of Glory is in need of you. Let them lose their their, their grip of your sons and daughters. Uh, the King of Glory uh, is in need uh, of your of their destinies uh, to bring them uh, into a place of rest. Uh, say, my father, my father. Say so every uh, wicked powers, uh, every wicked uncle and aunties, uh, wicked family members, uh, wicked deities. Uh, in our countries, uh, in our communities, uh, in, in our job places, oh God, uh, wherever they are, uh, that have tied our lives down, uh, that are watching, uh, that we will never come out, uh, that our sons and daughters will never come out, uh, that we will never enter into your rest. Oh Lord, uh, because you are in need of us uh, in this season, Lord, glorify your name. Lose us, Lord. Uh, lose our souls. Uh, lose our daughters. Uh, are you praying? Uh, lose us, Lord. And let us enter into that rest. Uh, lose us. Uh, you are in need of us. It is time for you to be leader. It is time for you to take control, Father. Take control of our lives. Take control of our sons and daughters' lives. Our siblings' lives. Take control of our husbands, our spouses' lives, Lord. Nako bazikada. Zakwayabada. Hipazakadagada. Azubragada. Pray somebody. Mazuka bragada. Oh Lord, take control. Lako bragadoda. Impanda dokada. Impandoda dekado. Impandoda kadagado. Impando kada bregado. Nanko bregabado, laku bregabado, ipando lagado. Oh Lord, we lost faith. Oh Lord, we lost it because of lack of understanding. But now is the time for restoration. Now is the time for rest. Now is the time for revival. Father, enter into our life, Lord. Lose us, Lord. Lose our destinies. Fight the wicked uncles. Fight the wicked aunties, which is a wizard. Necromancia spirit. Familiar spirit. Divination powers. Whoever they are. Wherever they are. Oh, Lord. Fight for us, Lord. Fight for our sons and daughters. Fight for our aunties, our spouses, our well wishers, Lord. Fight for us, our loved ones, Lord, deliver us, bring us into your rest. Zakoda Bragada, clap your hands and pray, clap your hands and pray. Rapota Ligada, Hipato Zagado, in the name of Jesus. You are loose. Hmm. Yes, Lord, God is taking control. You might have lost for many years, like the Israelites for 40 years. You might have lost because of lack of understanding of your prophetic time. But God is a God of restoration. That Pharaoh that has controlled your life has been driving your destiny, driving your sheep and your sons and daughter's sheep. That Pharaoh is coming under God's judgment. If you believe that, say amen. He's coming under God's judgment. Say your amen loud and type that amen. Very mighty amen. He's coming under God's judgment. God is going to be the leader of your life from today. God is restoring. God is taking control. God is going to drive your ship. He's going to be the captain of that ship. Jehovah. He's going to lead you out. 
into the, into his rest. He's going to Masukada. Oh, it's a new day. There's the other side. It's a new day for you to see the other side. A new day for your tears to be wiped away. A new day. A new day. A new beginning for someone. A new day. Oh, may the Lord put laughter in your mouth again. May the Lord give you a new testimony again to share. May the Lord, like Hannah, who said, <laughs> The Lord has enlarged my mouth. <laughs> oh, Rabbi Sakata. And they say she sang a new song. <laughs> the Lord has enlarged my mouth. <laughs> and the Lord is the one that weighs actions uh, of all man and the Lord uh, is the one that brings uh, those that are in the dung here uh, and he lifts them up. Uh, may the Lord remember you uh, like he remember uh, Hannah. May the Lord remember you uh, Masakarakada, Masakarabala. May he remember you like he remember Noah in the ark. Uh, may he remember you like he remember the Israelites in Egypt. Uh, oh, may he remember you. May your cry come before him cry your cry those tears you have shed for many years may they come before him today may he take control of your life Mazuka Dagado yes Lord thank you Lord come on lift up your voice and thank him for taking control thank you because I hear the Lord say now I'm seated I see the Lord now taking control. I see the Lord right now. He's the captain. He's the one that is sat on the on, 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 on behind the wheel <laughs> and he's buckled his bird. He's about to begin to drive you. He's going to drive you from today. And when the Lord drives you, no power will stop you. No power will stop you again in the mighty name of Jesus. No power, no power. Even this water power, we declare in the name of Jesus, the powers are hereby arrested. You know, God there with the water spirit when they cross the rest that was the final thing he dealt with yes lord you know he, the final thing he dealt with was he parted the red sea he parted the red sea that sea <laughs> god there he he dealt with the with the, with the, with the water powers <laughs> you know satan is a water spirit he dealt with that dragon that was in the water he dealt with it after they resisted for 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 many years for many times um resisted the word of god by the mouth of moses um, he dealt with that water he divided it he divided the water he said you cannot stop my people you cannot resist my people you know this water tried everything to swallow Apostle Paul. It tried, did everything. The Bible says that, you know, the Bible says when the ship was driving, the ship was driving, uh, the, 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 the wind was driving the ship, right? It drove it to, to, uh, to, to, uh, to, to a place where they didn't even know where they were. But then suddenly they saw, suddenly, hear this. Suddenly they saw, they saw, they saw the land. They were like, oh my God, okay, at least we're seeing uh, the seashore. So we are, we are almost, we are at least almost somewhere, right? <laughs> but their joy was short-lifted. Their joy was short-lifted. They saw the land, they, they saw the, the seashore, they were like, oh my God, wow, we are about to hit the seashore. Let's just go there, let's go there, let's, let's see if we can try to take control back over the ship and drive it to the seashore. <laughs> but they didn't know that uh, Satan was the water powers. They didn't know that they were bringing the ship to their altar. To finish it there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The every the Bible says they lost hope in verse eighteen of, of Act, Act, Act twenty seven, verse eighteen. They lost hope. They had thrown away their goods. They had thrown away their food, even food. They threw away everything. They were losing things because of the storm. Right when storm hit, you begin to lose things. Right, but and then when they see the, the shore, they say, "Oh, finally we are here. Let's go there." The Bible says in verse 40, <laughs> hear this. Ah, let me let me read verse 30, 39. Uh, last, last prayer points and we close. When it was day, they knew not even the land where they were. See that? Verse 9 said they didn't even know. But then they discovered a certain creek with a shore. They discovered, oh wow, let's go there. And they took the anchors, they were trying to go there. They committed themselves to go there. Hear what happened. Verse 41 says, Falling into a place, they fell into a place where two seas met. <laughs> I've never had this kind of revelation since I've been a pastor. They fell into a place where two seas met. Two seas. They said, oh, let's go. As they want to go, they are now where? They, they realize they are, 
Two seas means an altar in the water. <laughs> One sea and another sea are crossing. There are two seas. Power of agreement. The two seas have agreed. That's an altar. There was a demonic agreement right there in the water kingdom. That was an altar. There was an altar that was erected there. That, that power, that wind drove them, that ship, to the altar to destroy it. That's why it has driven your life to the altar to scatter it. After the storm hit, they've lost things. They've lost this, lost husband, lost wife, lost children, lost jobs, lost money, lost days miscarriages they said let us kill them now they brought it to the altar and guess what that's where the bible says the ship broke hey it says the ship they tried to run the ship aground and the four parts struck fast and remained unmovable but the hinder part was broken with the violence of the waves all this thing this time mark you they've been on that they've been that water for days weeks weeks the power was fighting them for weeks in that water they can't know where they're going your situation might have lasted for years they, they're struggling and they finally brought them to the altar and says ah you, you think you're going to you're going to get to the land you will not get to that land you will not and whack, broke the ship with a violence wave <laughs> but but the bible says they survived they swam got god rescued them because paul believed in the word of god he told the people on the ship in verse 22 he says be of good cheer there shall be no loss of any life because god told me he said the angel of god has come and confirmed even to me again in this ship that there shall be no loss of any life he believed hear me have faith in god don't lose your faith again you have regained your faith don't you dare lose it again the situation may get worse even today now hear me that situation may get worse for the next one week. It may get worse tomorrow. It may get worse for the next one year. I don't know for how long, but hear me, you are at the end of your breakthrough. It may get worse for one hour. Don't lose faith. In the middle of all of that, Paul said, he tell the people, as I'm talking to you, like Paul spoke to them, he said to them in verse 22, he said, be of good cheer. So I'm talking to you today, be of good cheer. I exhort you, be of good cheer. I exhort you patience. I exhort you Carol, Elizabeth, Masakata. I exhort you now, according to verse 22 of Acts 27. Be of good cheer for there shall be no loss of any life. There shall be no loss of any life. You will not die untimely. Your children will not die. There shall be no loss of any destiny. Your vision will not die in the name of Jesus. Even that ship, I declare, will not be broken. It will not. It will not. Your ship will not break. It will not. Their ship broke because they they let the sea the, 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 the wind gain control of it and drove it. You you have to resist the devil. Refuse to let him gain control of your life. Refuse. They remember Jesus in you is in charge. You speak his word, exercise his word daily. Stand in the faith. Remain where you are. Don't you dare give up faith. Tell the devil, devil, get out of my home. You are not taking control of my children. You don't have control no more. I refuse to let you go. You may bring your storm. I may see what is happening. I'm not moved by sight. I may see this problem. I may hear this. I am not going to be moved by sight. Do your worst. It will come to naught. All I know is that I'm in control of my life. For greater is he in me than they against me. Are you hearing? Regain control. Remain in that control area you have regained. Fight to the end. Fight. Refuse to let the ship break. Let him not take control of that ship anymore. And it will not break. It will not break. In the name of Jesus. It will not break. Declare over your life right now. Declare it. That I have regained control over every over my life. Over my the ship of my life. I must get on the other side. Me and my household we must get on the other side. My ship will not break. Say this altar in the water kingdom. That want to break my destiny. That want to break my vision. That want to separate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They want to kill someone. They want to separate your family. They want to destroy your marriage. They want to, yeah, the altar of the water kingdom. Say this altar, say my father, my father, this altar in the water kingdom, that want to break my vision into pieces. Oh Lord, my father, I declare it will not break. By the power of the blood of Jesus, by the word of my testimonies, the word of God, and by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I declare, let the water power, let the altars crash fire. The water powers and the altars crash fire. Open your mouth, pray the last prayer. Mazuka Rebadas. Lekato Briga. 
set the altars on fire. Two seas met. There is an altar in the water. Zekabosh. They brought the ship there and then they broke it. Your life will not get there. Your marriage will not get there. Your finances will not get there. Your sons and daughters will not get there. Break it. Break the powers by fire. Destroy the altar. That altar in the marine kingdom. Lakadangala. Every marine spirit that have been erected. Marine kingdom powers that want to break my ministry. That want to break my sons and daughters life. That want to destroy my husband my wife. They want to destroy my destiny. I command you. Rapo ikata. Lakwa ipa. Zwala. Fire. In Jesus mighty name. Ma sorobosha. You will not let it go. You will not. You fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? I leave you with this. It's all about your faith. I've shown you. We have prayed for one hour and I've shown you scripture by scripture. It's your faith. Paul had faith. It was the people that didn't have faith. And he had told them in the beginning, he said, look, this thing will not go where they didn't listen. He had, Paul had no control over the ship. They were the people, the sailors that let it go. If Paul, Paul was a prisoner, you are not a prisoner. You are loose. You are free in Christ Jesus. You are not a prisoner. So you cannot let what happened to Paul happen to you. you cannot. You have control over that ship. You have regained control. You remain in control. Every day you wake up, whatever you see, Whatever comes your way, you stand. You say, I am in charge. <laughs> I'm not losing. Because Satan wants you to, lose, to let the steering go so that he will drive it. You hold it. You say, no, I am the captain of this ship. Jesus in me is driving. I am the captain of my this ship, this vision, this destiny. I'm the captain behind my children's destiny. I am not letting it go. That's your faith. You, you look for scriptures and stand on them. Stand on the scriptures. That is your faith. You look for scriptures to do what you stand on them. That is your faith. You declare them. Didn't Paul get there? Didn't he get to Rome? Did he die? No. Let them like the fast against you to die. Let them like the fast against your marriage to break. Let them like the fast against your son's destiny to be destroyed. They are wasting their time. It will all come to naught. Have faith in God. With faith, you will please God and you will enter into that God's rest. I declare over everyone's life, you will enter into that God's rest. You will enter in the other side. You will see it. You will enter there. You will enjoy the fruit of the land. Like Caleb and Joshua, you will enjoy the fruit of the land. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will make his face shine upon you. The Lord will be gracious and kind unto you and give you peace and rest. In Jesus' much less mighty, wonderful, thunderous name, we have prayed and declared today. And somebody type amen there. Type amen and type amen and amen and amen. Amen. Maza sokorobosa. Amen. All right. God bless you. Shalom. 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 Have a blessed rest of the day. I know many of you are at work also. I'm also going back to work. Shalom. Have a blessed rest of the day. And uh, remember, no prayer tonight at 9 p.m. Um, I have a conference to attend. So I'm not able to come tonight. That's why I came this afternoon. Hallelujah. I didn't want the day to pass us by like that. Amen. So no prayer today. But tomorrow I will be here by the grace of the Lord. Maybe during the day, because I have a conference today and tomorrow. So I'll be in the, here by the grace of the Lord tomorrow in the course of the day. I'm going to look out for the announcement on WhatsApp. I'm going to send a text what time tomorrow to come on. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I will see you on the other side. Tell your neighbor, I will see you on the other side. Tell somebody with your own mouth, open your mouth and say, Patience, I'll see you on the other side. Carol, I'll see you on the other side. Brethren of Piton family and everyone connected, I will see you. On the other side. Amen. Shalom.